Oh no, it's something. Okay, we gotta go this way. Yes, yeah, so I remember the fucked up Pinocchio story we did in this one. Oh, dude, have you seen that? Have you seen that Netflix the, the Pinocchio show? No. Dude, like it's actually one of the best. It's one of the best ones I ever seen. Wait, is that the where he actually has to devour a real boy to become a real boy? No, it's actually something else, actually. Uh, so the point of this, like, it takes place, like, during, like, fucking World War II. Yeah. So, you gotta remember, right? Do you know what the um, phrase public IP means? Nope. So it means it's something that doesn't have a right, where no one has rights to, but anyone's allowed to do whatever they want with it, right? Does that make no sense? Has the rights to, but... Anyone can use it, right? Yeah. So Pinocchio falls underneath that, okay? So practically, that's why you have like 20 versions of Pinocchio. Okay? That means... Yeah. Because technically, Pinocchio is something that's labeled that... Like, it's always labeled as... Yeah, people can do whatever they want to it. But in the end, it doesn't have a rights holder. So anyone can't claim copyright infringement. Right? Yeah. That's the whole point with it, okay? Yeah, now... Yeah, I am too. Okay. So with that, so their whole idea was they have um, skull in, and they made like, they practically made it in between the Disney classic versus um, the Grim Fairy Tales, the original version. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like watching that, I'm like, damn, that's actually really good. So it was practically like, um, Geppetto had a, um, because apparently that, that version was, Geppetto had a, um, had a son, son died from something, um, I'm not trying to ruin it for you. Uh, so he no, had. Go ahead, okay, well, I, I like. I'm tell, I'm gonna tell you about it, but I'm, I feel like you need to watch it because it, it's way better than I can describe. Okay, but Geppetto has a kid. Kid dies from like some from something, right? Okay. So he so he um so his son gets like laid to rest or something, right? Like gets yeah. buried, like get buried. So him. Um. Uh, it was like visiting his kids, and he, like Chupetto becomes this really like alcoholic guy, right? Okay. So he made so apparently while he was uh, mourning, he had a um a tree grew up where his son was was buried, right? So he yeah. so he chop so he top um chops down the tree and becomes um and um Packer makes Pinocchio out of that tree, okay? Okay. And apparently it's like, oh, well, um, we have the blue fairy, but apparently there's like a blue angel looking character, right? The one that brought Pinocchio to life. Yes. And I was like, okay, cool. Um, so I was like, okay, cool. Well, Geppetto is like, what makes this one, why, why I think it was amazing, right? So you remember, Geppetto's an alcoholic in this one, right? Yes. And he reject. he spends most of the movie rejecting Pinocchio. Rejecting Pinocchio because he want because he it was like the whole situation of he wished to have his son back and then like the blue fairy comes around like yeah Pinocchio's your kid and he's like I refuse this to be my child so it's practically the entire thing of Pinocchio trying to figure out why Geppetto ha hates him and trying to figure out um and, but it's like a, but what makes it cool is like um you got like a, he had like an interaction right. Yeah. Where he's talking to like um some parent like some kid and his dad's actually like the head military officer of the um, army, right? And so you remember mm -hmm. you remember when you, like the original Disney cut where they all went to like the fun land? Like fun yeah, where he becomes a donkey. Yeah. So in the uh, in this version, that fun land's actually a um refugee camp. No, actually a military training camp. Uh, oh. Cause you gotta remember, this is like World War Two. Cause Scotland was a World War II, was the ally of the Nazis in World War Two, right? Right. So, um, so he's like, 
so Pinocchio makes a friend and apparently like he's like the head general's son. And all that. Yes. So it's practically you have like two guys with two different fathers trying to understand why their fathers are assholes and why life sucks. And like this one's like well what what makes it this one is like Pinocchio doesn't become a real boy, right? Mm -hmm. And how the day and like practically close to the ending, um that blue that blue fairy is like actually a demon or some shit. And they tell them like the problem is Pinocchio is Geppetto's mortal. You are immortal. You, he will eventually die. You will not. You, on the other hand, will not. Wow. Yeah. What a dick. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Like, they were, he he was making it like a, a um... He was making Because you gotta remember, like... Yeah, have you heard how dark the original Pinocchio story is? Oh, dude, man. Every Disney uh, story is fucking dark. No, like, have you heard, do you know how dark it was? How dark? Like, like, um, Pinocchio actually ate real people. I already saw that coming. Okay. That's why, is because they actually used it in the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Yeah, but you gotta remember, like, because most fairy tales, they have that. That's why you have two versions of fairy tales. You have the good ones, and you have what they call the dark fairy tales. Okay, other yeah. grim fairy tales. Yeah. Geppetto's, like, Pinocchio's Grim Fairy Tale is practically like, he was a, he was cannibalistic, he actually murdered Geppetto. Uh, I think he was also... I mean, he actually ate Geppetto. Yeah, he, he ate Geppetto. He actually killed Jiminy. Like, fucking murdered Jiminy. Jiminy was the cricket, right? Yeah, like, he killed Jiminy. Ah, hello. Yeah, he squashed him. Yeah. Yep, I remember the Cinderella's uh, grim story. My favorite one is Alice in Wonderland. Oh, your favorite was Alice? Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Cinderella, dude. Most of those uh, grim fairy tales are also in the uh, TV show Warehouse 13. We also got to remember, dude. Like, technically, the grim fairy tales took place before the regular, before the regular fairy tales. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying though. The grim fairy tales, the dark ones, are in Warehouse 13. Like, yeah. there's a uh, artifact in there called Cinderella's Dagger. What the item does is that anyone that's stabbed with it and the knife remains inside, they instantly turn into a glass sculpture. Yeah, well, that. Alice in Wonderland's uh, mirror. Yeah. That, that actually contains the psychotic, sadistic, and malice version of Alice. Her personality is literally trapped within the mirror. Her yeah. Her psychotic, suicidal version. Yeah, that's the thing, because, like, I know they have, like, a, there's, like, a lot of, um, TV series out there that has, like, um, so, like, you know, Aaron of the comic book series, Grim Fairy Tales? Don't think I'm familiar with that one. Yeah, so they're practically just all the grim fairy tales, but they just put into a comic book form. Right. Like, uh, like I think the only fairy tale, like the only grim fairy tale that actually has a good ending was um, Oz. And what was his? So Oz technically, so Oz is mostly of was the story of the guy's life. Uh, what the yeah. hell is this? What the hell is this thing right here? There it is. Okay, found him. So, all uh, so his whole story was it was like um uh, the lot his hardships that he went through to make a life for his daughter, right? Yeah. So, to give you some give you an example, okay? So, it was so the lion the the lion the Tin Man and the Scarecrow. Was all stuff that he has done for jobs, and yes. the jobs were pra practically was like um there I forget what it was so I forget the um I forget the scarecrow I think his he was supposed to represent like the guy's first job um the Tin Man what did the Tin Man need to move right 
needed a heart. No, the Tin Man. What did he need to move? Oil. Yeah, and he was an oil he was an oil salesman for his second job. Right. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, and that thir the Cowrie Lion. What it was? What? His motivation to write the book, because the guy hated write. The guy was always afraid of writing a book. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Wicked Witch of the West was actually uh where he. The Wicked Witch of the West was the where he like grew up at. Okay. Yeah. Uh, his daughter. His daughter was named the main character. On all that. Let's bullshit up. Okay. Cool. There we go. Oh shit. What the fuck did you do to the clap trap? I wish I knew. We probably gotta kill him. I got this RPG ready. Yeah, I got mine ready too. What the fuck? Okay, we gotta go this way. Oh, we got company. What would like to help? Doing anything. Give the Garak is ready. Yep, saw blades are ready to go. And we are aiming right down the side. Bibs on the tall. We should take the twins. Okay. Kill him. Yeah, they didn't last very long. Well, it's claptrap. Do you expect him to do a good job? Talk about you. You're like the embodiment of negativity. Yeah, but he just called himself. Yeah, but he just called it a Nazi. So does that make Claptrap Hitler? Claptrap, you have five seconds to make your peace with God. Time's up. <laughs> oh that no. I'm gonna go ahead and get up close and personal with this. What do we have to do? Force and jump around. Frolic and jump. God damn, where can, can we get a professional over here? <laughs> Where's the rock and roll Notre Dame man, not man Remy Savage? Where the fuck is he? I have no idea. But wait, whoa, 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 how the fuck did he disappear? He's teleporting. Get ready for another tell. Get ready for another negotiation, go self. Go for it, young diplomat. I believe it. Hey, everyone, listen. We are all children of this universe. Is he a fucking hippie? I have no idea. He sounds like he's a hippie or he's from fucking yeah, California. Yeah, he's definitely a hippie. <laughs> He's spreading the word, the word of the Lord of Claptrap. Oh God, Gears! Fuck it! Went south, shoot him. 
Oh, dug it, dug it, dug it, dug it, Oh, one little gun there, two little gun there, three little gun there, four little gun there, and Claptrap still hasn't fucking died yet. Motherfucking Claptrap is like most dangerous thing alive. <laughs> Claptrap is the only character I know of where intelligence is not needed. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Oh, That's really another legendary. Yeah. You wanna hear you wanna hear a really fucked up joke I tell people? Yeah, I love it up! And let's hear it. I tell people all the time, I'm happy that we have Biden for president. Why? If we can have if we can have a well look at the last four presidents we have, okay? Mm -hmm. So we had Bush, right? Yes. A guy who did not know how to open up a Chinese door. Oh god. Okay, we had Obama, who, which I think had a speech impairment. Uh, you can't tell me I'm wrong. I think he, like he had a problem with I think he had a problem with his brain misfiring. Okay. Didn't he say that he Didn't he say that he was also abusive? I don't know. I'm just going based on how the guy talked, because he was all be like, it's all about uh sending a message, like, dude, is your brain broken? What the fuck? But the second, yeah, the reason I'm saying is because yeah, the only reason I'm saying is because Michelle Obama actually came out and started saying stuff about it. Yeah, but I don't know how that. I think that was also a thing because there was like no proof of it. That was the issue. Uh, uh she probably just probably had she probably wanted more of the luxury life or something. Yeah, but not uh, uh, but no, that's that thing. Uh, but. Like, he had Obama, and apparently his brain likes to misfire. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the hell? But then we had Trump, where vitamin C was actually good for you. Ask him. Um, <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, now we have Biden, a guy who's more brain dead than fucking Bush. And I'm like... We have these. We have these four presidents. Okay, I feel more confident with my life of being lack of intelligence. If they can be president, so can I. And we're fucked if that ever happens. No, what? I think I'd rather have you as a president. I don't know, man. A lot of country. I'll be starting World War Three real quick. I mean, like, why not? We're already in World War Three. Yeah, but I think I'd be a little worse about it. Is he British now? What the fuck? When the fuck did he become a uh, hammerlock? I don't know. We get get ready to shoot some shit. Are they enjoying it? Or are they t in pain? They are in pain. They're covering their ears. Okay, I'm making sure because I'm over here. I need to get a few shots ready. Are they going to labor? What the fuck? Forty versus. Somebody shut him up. Where's the off switch? I don't know. I don't think I shall ever employ T again. You've taken everything from me. I hope you're happy. We should let the bully mind just rip them apart. Oh shit. Well, at least we didn't have to fight that last one. I think we're gonna fight them a bigger look at the battlefield. Where did he go this time? He's over here. Oh god. Oh, give me a second. Oh 
God, here he Fuck goes. We'll do it after this. Did he just charm him? I think he just did. Holy shit. Did you shine your scales? Or did you only play the game? Check out that chassis. I am oh, deeply horrified. in the harem. I am deeply horrified what I'm seeing. <laughs> I can't fucking believe it. What? What the <laughs> hell? What the fuck did I just hear? Oh shit! I'm getting over here. Fuck it. What in the fuck just happened? I say we stay in here real quick because it's not going in. What's this game ran again? I have no idea. What the fuck? What the fuck? What is this? Dude, I got a new title for this, for your new video. I, what in the fuck? Trap Trap just got laid. God damn it. And failed miserably. I, I'm okay with that. Fuck everything right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, here they come. I am now okay with this, this shooting a bunch of na nagas. I don't even care anymore. Fuck everybody. <laughs> this is messed up. It's paradise right now. Everyone I just heard is fucking paradise. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time Flatter actually got laid, but he failed miserably. He didn't. He didn't climax just right. George, this is your new title for the video. The horror story to happen. <laughs> I'm posting that on TikTok. Me and my friends' reaction to Claptrap getting laid. <laughs> no, we just witnessed it. The, the only time we were happy that someone wasn't lucky, failed to being lucky. Oh, she sure has been my son. No, no fucking problem. Oh my god. That was one of the best, but that was also freaking horrifying. Dude, I don't think horrifying describes it enough. God damn, god damn, god damn. He's still going? Check your ammo. We're going to need to get ready for this shit. Oh, I'm already reloading everything. Give me a second. I need to go ahead and do my level up. Do yeah, it. I probably got to see if I got any better guns right now. Go for it. Okay, here we go. Skills. There is nothing fucking okay about this. Okay, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we went from... PG-13 to NC-17 in like 37 seconds flat. 
And yet, what the fuck just happened? Oh, okay. Let's see what these bags are for now. Sweet. I must train more. Okay. So you know those bags that take up spaces that we can't even figure out what to do with? Yes. Just figure out there are four. What? Just go. Just go to your inventory. Start clicking on. Them. They apparently give you cosmetics for your armor and shit. Oh yeah, I already knew about that. Well, I didn't. Thanks for the update, jackass. No problem, fuck nuts. Oh, whoa, whoa, back up, back up, back up. I have nuts. Oh, I forgot you got snipped. I'm sorry. No, it's raises you, jackass. You racist. Make fun of psychopaths. How dare you? How the, how the fuck was I supposed to know you were a full-blown psychopath? Oh, I forgot you. I you're forgot friends you. with me! That you're makes... You're no, friends... You unloaded a couple of shotgun shells into a brand new car. Hey, 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 hey. They yeah, asked for it. Okay, fuck off. That's it. No. For, but did the car ever ask for it? Yeah. It was belonged to the wrong person, the way I look at it. But it fucking justified. Yeah, apparently the car you blew up was freaking kit. I didn't blow up a car. I just put shells to an asshole's car that was trying to pull a gun on me. So fuck him. Um, so. You ready? Uh, yep. Time to get to the killing. I'm on your arm over here. What the flip? Just jump. Oh. Ta da. Cool. Let's go. Bang, bang. Souls of the damn, let's go. I'm a getting. What the hell? Hey. I'm Fuck. getting time. I'm not talking about the shark. Oh. Fucking asshole. Keep firing, assholes. That's a big ass, uh, whatever the fuck that is. Hello, yellow belly. Let's go, let's find, let's get our friend Claptrap out of here. Oh, don't look at me like that. I need your help. Ow, you me. No shit. Go we'll talk to Quibble real quick. Are we sure we want to do that? We'll go talk to him. No, well, yeah, talking to Quibble. Yeah, he's one of the sinners on this mission. We might want to go do it for him. Here he is. The coils shan't be troubling you anymore. So, the negotiations went well? Diplomacy worked? Like a nice nope. Cool. Well, 
Let's go. Where do we gotta go for this one real quick? Okay, so that's apparently way out. We'll see if there's another mission we gotta go to. Okay, well, let's go talk. Let's see where this Zaga guy is at. Uh, fast travel. Talk to Ziggy. Oh, shit. Oh, did you run or did you fast travel? Fast travel. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Okay, so now I gotta try and catch up to you. Yeah, it's just. Go to the one called Talk to Ziggy. I'm over at this um, one at Down Best Dying Grill. Oh, you miss it. Uh, searching the map. Okay, do this. Are you at, are you on the uh, own? inner inner demons? No, nah. Ziggy. Yeah. All right, heading over there. Okay, you are. Now talk to Ziggy. We gotta go. Apparently, we gotta go in this thing somehow. Where's Ziggy at? I need to sell some shit. Yeah, we probably both need to. Okay. Okay, let me know when you're ready, man. Mm There's a lot of places on this fucking map. Man. Okay, so let's see. If we go over here. We go to Hughes. I don't see why I sell this gold this way. That makes no sense to me. Who knows? Yeah. This seem probably go ahead and add that in there. Okay. Is there any weapon that I need to grab? 
Something that isn't fucking pathetic. Yeah. Let's head out of here so we can go. Let's go back to the world map, because at this point, I can't even continue. Alright. Going Act back to the world map. There we go. What's up here? Oh, shit. What's up? I just... My gun launches a freaking Hidoken. Oh shit! <laughs> Want to see it? Let's wait. Let's wait for the game to load up first, dude. Yeah, man. We well, yeah. I'm still on the loading screen. I see a big black and gold colored guy. Hey, hey, I'll give one second. Uh, so glad you could join me. Let me when you get through. I'm a pack. Yeah. Your scales are positively glowing. You have entered the bone zone. We're like two peas in a pod. Two goods in a mag. Two things. All right, you ready? One other thing. Yeah, go ahead. It has a laser on it. What the fuck? Here we go. Here we go. Fire. Hey, don't come. They look like stinger missiles. What the fuck? Wait, are you serious? Those look like stinger missiles? Holy shit. Yeah. Holy crap, they are! Yeah. What about this one? No, not that one. No. Here we go. Sniper, rifle, fire it. Okay. Burst arrows. Cool. Okay. Okay, I think I see where we gotta go. And the problem is, it's not gonna make it easy on us. Yeah, probably not. Okay, I see what we have to do. Okay. So... I figured out how we get how we get to the next area of the map. Um, I figured out how we continue the story. Now I finally figured it out. Sweet. Yeah, just give me one second to collect all this good bullshit. Go now, adventurer, to the sea floor, where at a most restless spirit cannot. Well, not until his lady love can. Oh, yeah, you really shouldn't judge, because right now it's, uh, it's the equivalent of, you don't give a fuck. Yeah. God damn. I wonder if they knew, what? I was like, what, what weapons did I miss? What the fuck did I miss, all right? Like, yeah, you might want to check like, no, like, dude, I kid you not, like, cast this shit's, like, purple. Yeah. Let's see about the... Yeah, there we go. Armor decorations. What armor stuff did we get? I'm gonna sell half of this real quick. Oh god, I'm keeping that.
Maybe. I'm keeping that cool eye. Well, oh, that's how we should do it in the U.S., but people are too pussies to fucking fight. Okay, I actually got. I think my character looks better now. Sweet. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm now more brighter than hell. Yeah. Make those stealth missions gonna be a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, says so uh rolling that twenty for stealth in front of an entire encampment of a military and yet I in a dark in a, I no, no 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 what you just said in a dark cave. In a dark cave, I am using stealth to get past all the monsters, and yet I roll a nat 20 with bright ass armor on. <laughs> and they are ignoring me. They just, they, yeah, DM. They just think you're a giant ass glow worm. <laughs> yeah, or a big ass crystal. Okay, man. So, we'll stop right here, but I figured out how to get to the next island, so. Alright, bud. Yeah. No, do you know how to figure it out? How? So we had to get past the um, we had to get past the Crystal Castle to get to the next area, right? Mm -hmm. I checked the map. Map told me how to get past it. So I'm gonna go take care of that next time, and the next time we play, we can get, get past it. Oh, you want a firefight, bitch? Come on, come on. <laughs> I don't want that. I want this motherfucker. I oh, want that. Okay, I want this one. They rev. Here we go. My first. And... Oh man, we get Halo. We get Halo. Download. We're gonna fight each other one day, Nat. 